Thanks for joining me, fellow brothers and sisters in Christ. Let's pray. Dear Father, I pray we, pray we come to the realization of your importance, significance, and ability in our lives. Give us the understanding to know what items you want us to clean up in our journey back to you. Create the skill of discernment in our spirits and, and enable us to develop into spiritual warriors. Thank you for walking with us consistently. In Jesus' name, amen. I have a message on my heart that God wants me to deliver to you. And before I get into that, I want to ask, how is everyone? I pray you're blessed and favored today and walking out your faith in the Lord and that everything is good. The title of my message today is Reading Between the Lines. Reading Between the Lines. Before I get into it, I want to say that I've been convicted of my sins by the Holy Spirit over the last few years and in a tremendous way over the last six months and I really don't feel like doing this video today but God has said get out and do it say what I have to say because there's many out there that I want to hear this and this is very important to me there's two verses that I'm going to go into in the scripture and chokes me up, but I'm going to try and get through it anyway. Reading between the lines, it's important when, when we're in scripture to find the hidden meaning in every verse in the Bible. There's thousands of verses. I could pull any one of a dozen verses right off the top of my head out of the Bible and be able to find the hidden meaning in it. This discernment has grown tremendously over the years as I've become closer with God developed my spirit and have come closer to being near Jesus and wanting what he wants for me in Hosea 7-2 God speaking about Israel 750 years after God using Moses caused the Pharaoh to release the Israelites from Egypt. Now, 750 years after, the Israelites have done their own thing and they are serving gods and I quote and I paraphrase, God speaking about Israel said, my people don't realize that I am watching them. Their sinful deeds are all around them, and I see them all. Reading between the lines. Let's read between the lines in this verse. God specifically is demonstrating that he sees, because he's omniscient, the sins that Israel is committing, the commandment violations that they are going through, and how they are doing idol worship and a whole other slew of breaking commandments right in front of him. Now this is 3,000 years ago. Now today, reading between the lines, this verse pertains to me. To me it says, my people don't realize that I am watching them. I see their sinful deeds all around them. I see them all. And I reflect on, over my life, the sins that I committed and how God was watching me. And instead of standing right beside me with his arm around my neck and loving me, he had to put his hand out on my shoulder and turn his face away because of my sins. But he continued to walk with me. That's the love of God. Another verse I want to get into, Matthew 19, 29. Jesus speaking to his disciples said, and everyone who has 
left houses or brothers or sisters or father or mother or wife or children or fields for my sake will receive a hundred times as much and will inherit eternal life. Now, Jesus speaking to his disciples was letting them know that to serve him and to follow him throughout his ministry, there was many things they were going to have to give up, but there would be a reward at the end. Now, let's read between the lines 2,000 years later. And everyone who has left houses or brothers or sisters or father or mother or wife or children or fields for my sake will receive 100 times as much will inherit eternal life. Folks, I've gone through a tough time. My circle of friends and family, and might have been 15, 20 people. Out of those family and friends, there's one, my father, who I have communication with today. It was the hardest thing I could think of. Walking away from a circle of family and friends so that I could get closer to God. Grasshopper landed on me. So that is reading between the lines. I found this verse and it was my inspiration to continue to follow God, and to love on Jesus, and to realize that even though I might have to walk away from wife, my children, a nice house, a great living environment, friends and family. There was something inside me that wasn't right. No one was professing Jesus. No one would love on God. Anytime I would bring it up, I was looked at as a heretic or some kind of lunatic. I felt chained. I felt imprisoned. I was pushed into a corner and tell you, after a while of going through it, and it's some form of narcissism that was going on, and I'm not any better at some point in my life. I was being narcissistic. I was using narcissistic traits, but at this particular time of my life, it wasn't me. I let all that go, and it was being aimed directly at me by the enemy, and I realized that the Holy Spirit was tapping me and he was saying yeah Paul that's not right that's not right can you hear what they're saying do you see anything wrong with that go into the scripture I'll find it for you I'll tell you what's not right about that so after 10 15 years of dealing with this I realized that I was sick. I felt sick inside. My body was breaking down. My joints hurt. And I can honestly say, after four weeks of being free from it all, walked away from it completely. My body is starting to heal. I can think clearly. My joints don't hurt nearly as much. Feel not only physical but emotional and psychological healing going on throughout my body and this happened by reading between the lines and I want you all to realize this and develop the ability to pull a verse out study it read it pray about it go to the Lord and say Lord is this what this verse means any dozen number of verses throughout the Bible will do this for us. I pray that this day has found you well and that you stay happy in God. You stay focused on the grand prize which is discernment Go through what you're doing in your life. Look at every single thing, whether it's cigarettes or drinking 
or social media or anything that you're putting up higher than God? Is there something that you're idolizing? If there is, read between the lines. Ask the Lord, Lord, do you want me to slow down on this? Do you want me to cut it out altogether? And the more you do this, the closer God will get to you and come to you. I pray that this finds you well, and I love you all. Talk to you next time.